All right, back to this topic. We've gotten lots of questions about vaccine schedule, spe specifically 1B. So let's bring in the Onondaga County Executive, Ryan McMahon. He's joining us live tonight. Ryan, I know it was a very busy day, as pretty much every single one of them are for you, but thanks for being with us tonight. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jeff. Um, so you did le le lay out a lot of detail uh, at your press briefing this afternoon as far as uh, how things were going to work. My biggest takeaway from all of it is that We've got to be patient. I'm sure you've been inundated. We have. I can't get an appointment. How do I get an appointment? Explain why people might have a tough time right now getting that appointment and getting that shot. Yeah, right now when you look at the uh, the increase of eligibility in 1B, we weren't even done with 1A yet. And uh, now we have 1B, which is a massive group of individuals that are eligible now. So we're talking about over 100,000 people in our community, let alone the region. So the reality is, is in Onondaga County, uh, if you think about a vaccination week, we vaccinate from Wednesday to Wednesday. And our allocation from the state of New York next week is going to be 3,600 uh, doses. Uh, the state fairgrounds will have more doses. And then kidney drugs will be getting doses. Uh, and the hospital doses are going to be really for the second shots for their employees. So what is different this week is, We've now expanded the pool of those who are eligible, uh, probably tenfold, but we still have the same amount of vaccine uh, in the county that we had last week. All right, may, may have lost him there, I'm not sure. We're gonna see, but I have my next question for you. If you, yeah, there he is, we can still see him. So um, I know one of the big issues is um, for folks 75 plus, I mean, they may not have a computer, they may be by themselves. I mean, let's try to help out them. What's the suggestion, what's the advice for somebody that's 75 plus if they're, they're struggling a little bit with this? Because it's a bit of a complicated process and there's such a demand on there. So what's the advice for them? Yeah, so there's two, so really right now, Jeff, there's three locations. And so think of it this way, uh, we're building up the point of d distribution uh, so when more vaccine comes online. So right now you can register for the state fairgrounds, which is a partnership with the state and the county. Uh, you can register here at the War Memorial uh, for our pod, and you can go and register with any drugs. Now the reality is, as these appointments come online, they're almost gone. So what we have done with folks who aren't tech savvy and some of our seniors, we have uh, we have 211, which is one of our partners, where these seniors can call 211, and each week we're giving certain slots at the War Memorial for 211 to register seniors. So 211 will help register you at our pod. They'll also look at other slots that are available. The reality is uh, these slots are going to go quick. And the reality is probably for the next week, the Wednesday to Wednesday, uh, those slots for the whole community will probably be filled up in the next 24 hours. So that's what this is gonna be right now. We need to be patient. We're gonna get everybody vaccinated. And as soon as the supply increases, we have the ability to do more shots. So we'll be doing in our pod, we'll be vaccinating and we'll be done with vaccine within three days probably. Mm. And then we'll be looking for more vaccine to operate on our fourth and fifth business day. Um, 75 plus group seems to be pretty easy. Either you're that old or you're not, but the other categories, people may think, well, I fall in that category, but maybe they don't. Does the system automatically kick them out? How do we make sure the people who are eligible for the shot are getting it? No one's jumping the line, whether intentionally or not. Yeah, I think uh, for, for the most part, everybody, uh, it, it, it is clear who you are and when you should be going. Uh, if you work preschool through 12, if you're uh, an in, uh, in-person college uh, educator, if you're a probation officer, corrections officer, law enforcement, uh, child care worker, um, uh, if you work for Centro, um, but there are 911, uh, but there are some of those areas now that you have frontline uh, uh, grocery store workers and et cetera, that it gets a little more complicated. So there is, there is when you're doing registration, there are, uh, uh, icons that are supposed to you're supposed to uh, register under um, is it a hundred percent bulletproof that nobody's registering uh, no that isn't supposed to no but um, in the most part we need to do this as a team as a community uh, and uh, if we do that we'll get through this much quicker 
Um, I think I heard it at your briefing there. I mean, people also need to understand you're only making appointments for people if you know the ha you, they have the vaccine. You're not just saying like, well, let's just make a, an appointment for anybody and then you get to a certain amount and then these people have appointments but no vaccine, right? So that's maybe why the, the reason for the, the limit there? Yeah, when, so for our pod at mm -hmm. the War Memorial, and again, when we get more vaccine, we're going to move to the on center because we can uh, get more done in a day. But right now, we're only registering essentially 1,260 uh, appointments a day for the days that we know we have vaccine. Mm -hmm. So if we, we found out we're going to get 3,600 uh, new uh, doses uh, on Tuesday, so we will now, we opened up Wednesday registration and then Thursday and Friday. Um, but we won't have Monday or Tuesday registration until we know we have new mm. vaccine to actually do it. We're not going to register people, have them take time out of their work day, get excited. I mean, this mm -hmm. isn't, Jeff, this is very emotional for people, uh, for our employees giving the vaccine, but also for people getting it. We're not going to get people's hopes up if we don't actually have the supply on site. So this will be a little bit of a process with our pod. Uh, we'll, uh, you know, there will, the, the good news is some people that register for months in advance, you're waiting for months, here you'll have an opportunity to potentially get a vaccine sooner as it comes up. Um, and again, that's why we're gonna reserve slots for seniors with mm -hmm. 211 so they get a fair shot uh, as well. Yep. Thank you, Ryan. That's a good one. 75 plus. If you're having trouble, use 211. Uh, sir, I, th I know you have a, a lot to do. We appreciate your time tonight. Thanks so much. Be good.